Match day two action continues with one of the best matchups on the slate this week. It's Netherlands and France. The Dutch made me sweat out a Netherlands to win and scoring two goals bet on match day one. But eventually they did break down Poland and won two to one. Poland scored early off a corner before Gakpo drew Netherlands level, albeit a little bit lucky off of a deflection. Netherlands could have easily, though, scored some more goals in that game, if not for some better finishing from Gakpo or Depay. But instead, the score stayed level until Ronald Koeman made some changes late in that game, brought on uh, Weghurst and Jeremy Frimpong. It was Weghurst who smashed home the winner almost immediately after coming on, scoring in the 83rd minute. Overall, Netherlands led in shot attempts, 21-12. to Poland had more shots on target, though, 7-4. to The Dutch controlled the possession with 66% and led in corners 60 Six to three. For France, only an own goal separated France and Austria on match day one. Not saw France go on to win one nothing. The rest of the stats were relatively close as well. France led in shots 14 to six. The shots on target were equal, 3-3. Austria had an edge in possession, 52%, and Austria had the corner's edge, 6-2. The biggest news coming out of that game is that Mbappe suffered a broken nose and will likely miss out on match day two before returning later in the tournament wearing a mask. And that could pave the way for Olivier Giroud to return to the lineup for the French. Netherlands, the Dutch, have won three straight and just one loss in eight games. They scored multiple goals in five of six and they scored in 14 straight and in 34 of their past 35 games. The one game where they didn't score, though, was against this French team that coming last year in March. Somehow, some way, though, Dutch games usually see some goals. 18 of 20 have seen at least two. The last six and 15 of 17 for the Dutch have seen three or more. France may have only four losses in their last 22 games, and that is one against Argentina, two against Germany, so some top opponents there. But they aren't necessarily dominating teams of late. In November qualifying, they smashed Gibraltar, a team ranked over... Uh, under 200 in the world. But since that time, they have a 2-2 draw with Greece, 2-0 loss to Germany, 3-2 win over Chile, 3-0 win over Luxembourg, a 0-0 draw with Canada, and a 1-0 win over Austria. And that came with an own goal. So kind of a mixed bag of results there. And really no goals scored themselves in the last two games. They have scored though in 17 of 19. And they'll come in favored here at plus 125 odds. Netherlands being plus 220 and the draw plus 240. These teams met in qualifying. France winning 4 nothing and 2-1. to And France has won seven of the past eight going back to 2014. Netherlands do have one win, that being in 2018 Nations League play. Now, that's not great news for Netherlands to be 0-2 and, and outscored 6-1 to in two very recent meetings between this, these teams. But the playing field could be slightly leveled, though, with Mbappe set to miss out going up against this tough Netherlands defense. So I think a draw is a possibility, an under 3.5 in a parlay or for a straight bet for the best bet in this game. Let's go under 2.5. Let's expect a tight game under 2.5. As the best bet at minus 125 odds over at Bet365. And if you're looking for more Euros and Copas picks, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the best sports book, bonus bets, and risk-free bets offered for new customers. Check out my link, signupexpert.com slash shred the spread and see all the offers from the top sports books today. I'll put that link down there in the comments. Be sure to share your bets for this game down there in the comments. And good luck.